Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to FX Maniac. This is Sayed Mahmoud Amiri again. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this uh, bullet moving through glass in 3ds Max using Tyflow. So it's basically this effect right here. And uh, uh, I've did a render of this. So yeah, this is basically the render. So you can see that the, the bullet goes through the glass and it just smashes into a lot of these pieces and then it, it just falls down and breaks again. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start the tutorial, but before we do, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for the response that I got from the last tutorial, uh, which I did on Typeflow, and it was my first 3ds Max tutorial, and like, it was uh, it was really good, the response was good, so it, it kind of motivated me to do this tutorial and uh, even more. So just keep on, keep on, you know, doing it, keep uh you know if you haven't subscribed to my channel already uh, subscribe and you know like the videos and comment like if you have any ideas for the next tutorial so i'll see and i'll do it and uh yeah these uh your your, your response is what really you know motivates me to do more and more so yeah keep on doing it and you can change my instagram page effects with sayed and uh which i haven't really updated in a while but you can you can you can check it out so let's get in uh, 3ds max and start the tutorial so I'm gonna go file reset and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the glass first so uh, very thin glass make sure it's kind of identical with the we'll make it like 200 by 200 so yeah kind of like this maybe 170 or 180 okay and then I'm going to create the bullet which is going to be impacting with this uh, system so I'm going to go into extended primitives capsule and I'm going to draw it and uh, yeah then I'm gonna right click and convert it to editable poly and select this these edges and connect them and I'll go back to polygon and select these bottom half and delete it then I'll select this border and move it down a bit. I'm going to hit J to hide these selection brackets. And uh, I'm going to hold down Shift and scale this down and move it a little bit like this. And then I'm going to, it's kind of like a basic bullet. And then I'm going to scale this down and hit Cap to close it off. And I'm quickly going to add a swift loop to maybe, yeah, because we're going to be turbo smoothing this. so. And I'll add a turbo smooth. If you don't have it here, you can just search it like turbo smooth hit T and it'll come up. But then we need to change the pivot point of the object to be in the center. So I'm going to hierarchy tab, effect pivot, center to object. And I'm going to move it, um, not the pivot, go off of this. Yeah, move it to here and rotate it. Make sure the angle snap is on. Hit E for rotation. 90 degrees and I'm gonna move it to the center of the object to be really in the center and animate it so I'm gonna select it hit N or turn on the auto key go to like 50 frames if you want to make it slow you can make it slow so just like move it through the object and that's it all right uh, okay so now it's time for the tie flow uh, setup. So I'm gonna go back to standard primitives. And again, if you don't have tie flow, you can just go to like Google, uh, Google it like tie flow and click on this download page and select your V-Ray version and download it, install it and uh, you know, have fun. So tie flow and I'm going to go into this open editor and uh, yeah. First off, we're gonna start by converting this uh, box or whatever it is to a particle so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit tab and go to birth surface uh, sorry birth objects and uh, i'm just gonna yeah, mute this so pick this object and then right click and hide selection so we basically have our particle here but we can't see it because it's small dots so i'm going to go into geometry now it's there and the other thing that you uh, you have to like I I didn't notice until unless I didn't render this 
it was silly but it's like the the fracture is already there even before the bullet impacts with the object so we're going to fix that uh, i'm going to fracture this and the key to fracturing this object to like a glass shape is like if i increase the points is to get kind of like that bullet uh, if you go to google and search like bullet through glass um basically kind of like this which it leaves this uh this very hot spot and then you, the, the the pieces around it kind of like cracks and stuff so we're, we're, we're basically gonna mimic this so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into this and I've set it to like 160 points but I'm just gonna go down and change this points point cloud point to like sphere and then I can just like you know scale it down so it's basically like you know like that or you can just go and like be more specific turn off this uh, constraint and just like you know scale it to however you want but this is okay make sure that point that the bullet is impacting is like the main point you want so you can just move the bullet you know like where, where you want it so now I'm going to add a physics shape for this collision to be dynamic but the problem here is that it's falling down even before the bullet hits which is not good and that is the reason and it's it's like a mistake that we did uh, I didn't realize before even uh, so what we can do to fix it and it's very it's kind of like a very uh, you know sensitive value but you need to you need to understand so go to the first frame or before that like let's find out when is the bullet going to impact with the glass probably frame frame 20 so uh, 21 in frame 20 so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go back to timing it's on entry level so it's basically gonna whenever this event enter is is it's gonna factor it's just already there from frame 0 so what I'm gonna do is change it to frame and make sure it is a one frame value uh, like frame 20 to 20 right because even if it's like 20 to 21 it's probably going to crash your system uh, because it's going to fracture it on frame 21 uh, 20 and then i'm at the frame 21 it's going to fracture those fractured pieces again so it's very it's kind of like very sensitive so i'm just going to change it like 2020 make sure it's one frame or whichever frame is in your case but make sure it is one frame okay uh, so now see in frame 20 it's gonna get fractured and before that it's not there so it's gonna fix this problem of like you know pre fracture thing so yeah and now you can see that they're you know active after that but now I can add a collision uh, you know and pick up this collider and uh, yeah you can see that it's there so is there but the problem here is that we have very less number of pieces um, which we will work on it and we can scale up the bullet a little bit to kind of encompass a little bit more of the area and you know yeah maybe not that much yeah kind of like this much so and and we can also like go into frame 20 and increase the points to maybe like 200 so get more like pieces but we're gonna fix it anyways so no worries um, yeah uh, maybe scale it down a little bit more because I don't want those big pieces to get impacted like this soon but it's okay so yeah now uh, we have this output on the collision test which basically means we can output it to another event so what I'm gonna do is add another Voronoi fracture and basically the pieces that impacts with the bullet they're gonna you know kind of break even more so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to geometry and you can see that they're there but they're kind of like sticking together a little bit more and they're not as fast like if you if you see here they're just like gonna explode explode all over and in a very fast way so well, what I'm going to do is add a speed and make it really like a lot so maybe like 20 so they, they just throw uh, to all the directions yeah and it's gonna make the other pieces also look a bit like you know 
that they're like affected by that much speed and the other thing that we need is we need to add a physics shape here also because uh, uh, it's gonna be see it's gonna be more obvious later but you know these small particles they're gonna collide with these ones and it's gonna like it's kind of it's gonna change the direction it's gonna like you know affect them so it's really important and uh, and again these pieces are kind of like sticking together a little bit more so I can add a force and use a bit of like turbulence to kind of like you know make them go away a little bit go separate it and uh, we can add a rotation also so just to make them like random yep. yeah and then we want more particles so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send these out send out uh, which is basically gonna send all the particles to the next event uh, put it like at last which doesn't really matter but you know so I'm gonna hit tab again I'm gonna go spawn and I'm going to send out to these so these particles are gonna be sent to this event and the benefit is that we can we can add a lot more so if I go into the spawn I can change it to like six I'm gonna have a lot more particles and now that on this uh, physics shape is going to really affect all the other pieces and like you know blow them away uh, but uh, we need to we need to inherit some speed also so I'm gonna go back make sure you go back because last time I did it my PC kind of like crashed so go to inherited speed and make it a bit more like 160 give it some variation to like 40 it's basically inheriting the speed of the main particles and give it some divergence which is gonna make it go uh, to every other direction and make sure real time is off and uh, make sure to save your scene like before it crashes or something so control s like whatever glass and uh, the other thing is that these pieces are really big so what I'm gonna do is make them small so I'll add a scale to them and I'm just going to change it to like what 40 percent now they're really small uh, they're a bit too small but we, we can change the variation to like 60 percent and I can I can make him like 60 and change the variation to like what 40 percent but then we need a lot more particles but already it's looking pretty cool you can see that it's kind of like it's got that explosive look you know and uh, turn off this like draft thing and if you have more pieces you can just increase the number of uh, go back here increase the number of uh, offspring to like 12 so I'll get like twice as much particles and the other thing is that we want these big pieces as they fall down to break even more so what I can do is that I can go into this event and uh, or the first event the main event I can add a property test which is basically we want to test the velocity of these particles and if the velocity is less than like what four a very less value then we can go and you know add another Voronoi fracture so let's let's go here um, I'm going to basically connect it so now you can see that those those are, are are there and I can just go into tend them again here and maybe we'll increase this to like what 20 or greater than 20 so now they are going to basically break yeah or maybe 20 is a little too much um, 10 we're basically looking for particles which are very um, you know less speed you know obviously the main ones are very high in speed so but I'm gonna go into this and maybe like four so they're moving really slow now you can see that they're affected by this event we change the color to red so yeah as they move they'll break and uh, yeah it's gonna make it more natural 
so yep you can see there there it is and um, yeah so basically this is the effect if I play this back and at the end you can just like copy this uh, display to all of them so that they look like similar or you can just go like select the tie flow hit M give it like uh, one standard material and uh, yep. basically that is the effect and you can you can increase the number of particles or do some other things you can you can uh, you can't really use the retimer to make it slow-mo because I've used an object and it's not part of the particle system so it's gonna kind of like not match with the speed of the particles but what you can do is you can use a separate like particle system just to emit the bullet which I've tried but it's it's kind of like a different setup okay but what you can do is you can you can you can just increase this uh, the duration of this value and it'll be more slower but uh, you get the idea right um, okay uh, this is the effect and I'm quickly gonna show you guys uh, how to do the lighting so I'm gonna change the scene to V-Ray my renderer to very advanced and before doing anything I need to go to tie flow and add a mesh to all of these uh, um, whatever you want to call it, events hold down shift so that it, it, it gets rendered and I'm gonna hit M create a very material click here to standard very material make it like dark a bit and going to reflection 100% refraction not like 100% maybe a little bit because we don't want to be 100% transparent and I'm going to give it some some highlight and I'm gonna apply this to tie flow and um, yeah for the bullet we had a texture which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna care right now I'm just going to add a simple light V-ray light move it up and change it to like target it move it to this side and make sure in the options it's invisible and shift drag to this side and shift drag it again to that side so yep yeah, kind of like here and uh, if I go into the quick render setting I'm just gonna go like interior very less and I'm going to change the render setup to um, HD TV 1280 by 720 and I'm just gonna take a render so you can see that the glass is there and uh, you know it's breaking and uh, you know it looks it looks cool and uh, yeah you can add more particles you can add some randomness you can do everything basically but you get the effect right um, <laughs> this is like looking like a plastic bullet but that's okay um, you get the idea here you can render it out and I didn't add motion blur here I've used this uh, real smart motion blur inside of After Effects to create the, the motion blur without it it's basically looking like this but it's just gonna make it look a bit cooler so yeah you get the idea so yeah this is basically the effect I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it and uh, I'm gonna you know I'm going to keep on making more effects and more tutorials for you guys and uh, make sure again your 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 uh, interaction means a lot to me so you ha if you haven't subscribed again make sure to subscribe to my channel keep on with my latest tutorials and you know you know just motivate me to do more and you know it'll be for the better for everyone okay so yeah this was the today's tutorial and uh, as I always say Till next time, enjoy working.